Hello everyone, welcome to the, my second class. This class will be part of building algorithms. The name of the subtopic is expression and algorithm. We already proceed the last one. Now we continue with the second topic. So it will be amazing that you will understand everything correctly when you see the shimmer and you will be sure like how to write quotes after see this image. All right, let me get my pencil. We can express an algorithm many ways, including natural language, flowcharts, pseudocode, and of course, actual programming languages. So all of them, first we can uh, write our things, and after that we can put in programming language. It is understandable way that we applying most of the time. Natural language is a popular choice since it comes so naturally to us and can convey the steps of an algorithm to a wide audience. When we are developing algorithms, we are often working both with people who know programming and those who don't, but they all know natural language, yes. However, natural language has its drawbacks. It has a tendency to be ambitious and to weirdly, uh, weirdly defined i don't know how to pronounce it this one i know what it means but anyway so i will check it later since it has no imposed structure that makes it difficult for others to follow the algorithm and feel confident uh, in its correctness flowcharts and pseudocode are more structured formats that can more precisely express an algorithm and are popular with computer scientists and programmers Yes, let's try out of out the more structured formats by expressing the pig Latin. All right, it is crazy one. So algorithm for the previous article. All right, flowcharts. Let's get started with the flowcharts. We're gonna make it in a practice together. Okay, no worry about it. A more formal way to express an algorithm is with a flow chart, a diagram with boxes connected by arrows. To start simple, here's a flow chart for the basic version of the Piglet in algorithm. I will make it something easier. I mean, I will not make too much easy, like a too much professional way. Just uh, want to give you that idea that you can make it in easier way with the variables. We can create many more variables. And after that, we can put there some Boolean function to just analyze and to concatenate them okay so first step is start okay and we have append this one all right it it, it will be our first variable that we will create this one half uh, so half an, and after that uh we will continue with the first letter we will store that one just uh, we will recognize that and after that we put there we will put there a and remove first ladder, then we're gonna continue with, like we will remove with the slice method, build in function, and yeah, append will be concat. Anyway, let's go. So what we are looking for, first check here, append this one, helper. So we can say, um, for an happen, I think like that. I'm not sure, but anyway, what was it? So we can just say this one. This is our first point. Now we want to um, concat it with the, because we will append the first letter there. We want to concat it with the other one. So how we can do that? We can say helping, yeah. But we can say var, uh, let's say, first step like that and we can say helpen dot concat with what um, with yeah we can also put here var first ladder first ladder in this case we can put p let's say okay and we can just say first ladder Okay, let's see the result and let's continue with the other step. All right, sorry, console.log, we can use this one. 
and just say fs. So, um, by the way, what we set in here first, no, first letter happen, first step, yes. When you run that, yeah, we found it. Look here, what we have, the first one, this one, and after that, we put first letter, right? This one, P. So, we already did, right? And this is our result, as you can see in here. So, let me do it little zoom and you can see better let's continue with the other steps anyway let's put it in here and go with the steps you can say second second step now like that now what it wants from us append i so now we need to append i in here right it will be pi like that how we do that it's so easier isn't it so we're just gonna do some operation in easier way so like what we will say f s and concat again and then we're just gonna put here what what do you think what we need to put in here we have i right all right and we need to create another one so what we can say what was the name of this one we can say extension, right? Let's say my x like that or my x. By the way, you can use const or the let to. Uh, so, okay, let's continue. We can say i, this one. And now I just going to put this one, even just write it here. Now we're going to concat it. And after that, we can just say console.log and just put second step. When you run that, it works like part, like that, right? It was the first our output and this one is our second, sorry, this one is second output. All right, now what it wants from us, remove first letter. So we want to remove P from here and after that it will look like like this right like that we're looking for this one how are we doing that <clears throat> okay after we remove this one we would have only this one there right like that we can use slice method for that we can say um third step we can say third step like that ts and we just say s as second step dot slice and after that what we're going to slice so we will slice the the index of this p right is it one or zero what do you think is it one right we will remove this one and we just come down just console.log put it here and just change ts like that you run that what happened it was one or two what happened do you think something wrong in here so because we just indexed it, the first one zero this one is zero this one is one do you think it is like that or something wrong in here when you run that it will be correct uh-huh no what happened then so i can give you an idea look slice method is making something between some indexes so what i'm talking about this is zero this is one right and this is two so we can say between zero and one to two for example let's say one and two so what will happen it will just take p as you see can you see that but what if we try to remove that how we do it how we do it so let's say we want to slice it in this way but how we can see the old picture after do that so if you do zero what will happen it will nothing if you say three what will happen it gives you only that one what we want to remove the first index right so how we do that what do you think how we do it still same 
it removes first one but still things are same what if you say three like that it will just tag some point what can you do some remove do you think we have remove let's say remove one error it doesn't work right why it doesn't work it's saying object anonymous is not a function yeah it's not a function let's say index of like that minus one all right we know that in minus one but what we if we try to remove that let's say it slides and let's say one what will happen oh it doesn't work it is not way right. slice is not a function yeah so the working fields is different so now let's say let's go chat gpt and try something in different way for example you can ask it you can just say hello chat gpt by the way i know that but just trying to show you okay be sure about it what we are doing you need to understand the things let's say hello i want to i want to remove some string from my string strings how can i do that how can i do it in javascript Let's ask question like that. All right, it's saying use something split join or something else like that. What it's saying? <clears throat> Substring to remove. All right, it is some way you're just replacing with things. Okay, then you're just deleting that, right? Okay, after you do that, what happened? It's saying use let's say is there any way to remove index with index with index let's ask like that mm -hmm. what it's saying hello world in this case it works like that slice start index okay let's tag this code in here and go to here come down put it here and see what will happen hmm by the way let's remove this guy okay hello no it's world is not there we just get word there from there right so can we apply same thing for our thing it would be so tiring isn't it how we can remove it what do you think can we use some different way for that for example let's say we want to say um, slice slice um one minute so where is it no here yeah come back here yes yeah, slice slice what let's say I want to remove first index and remove it like that and let's do something like, <coughs> like that error it takes only two values start and end right if you do that what will happen still same because we have more yeah it, it shows us still pay this one we cannot remove this one right how it doesn't work how it doesn't work what do you think uh-huh now we remove again the first one where is the other one why we cannot remove this one what do you think if you do that uh-huh we have a but where is the other one how we can add this half in there what do you think how we do that do you, do you know how to do it let's say concat and after that put there halfen this one or before that we can do it let's say come here and say concat and just 
at this um, halfen uh, halfen there. Close that and put again slides and delete this. Oh my god, what happened? After we add this, now it looks like so different, isn't it? What if we get this one from here? You put end of this, what will happen? <clears throat> oh, it's still same. Why it doesn't work, guys? What do you think about it? So just think, we, we need to do some more operation or what we need to do? So let's say, tag this code and say, I want to remove, let's say remove key from there. How can I do it? What is the, the build in function name, build in name? Yeah, let's ask like that. How you do that? Mm-hmm. So, we're using regex, right? Something different in here. Can you see that? First, we're using replace. After that, we're replacing this one, this double quotation, with that one, isn't it? So, we have here remote char. Where is this? Yeah, remote char is P. Like, we can say first letter, this one. And we have new reg exp. We're using that one. So it means that we need to put this code there that it will work. But let's come to understand the structure of that. We're using first replace, and we want to replace this point, right? This one with this one. So this is empty one, right? Empty double quotation. And after that, we have here new reg exp this one so what it is let's let's come here and just go and look for this reg x let's say in gs <clears throat> regular expressions all right what it does or even just click on it which is a regular expression pattern modifier search replace okay so we have text in here, we're saying visit schools and we're saying text search with schools and it says, it gives you index of it, right? And in other way, we can look for this way too. Replace method works like we're changing two things. Okay, so we know the old things living in that, right? In this regex, in that one. So we can replace things we can do other operations we can do whatever we want but in this case what we doing in this case we just using that one to remove this first letter right so it is p and as you see we have here g but why we use g in here what do you think about it so what we trying in here why we put P and this G here? The first one, our first letter. The second one is what? <clears throat> Do you think it is something corresponding into this built-in? All right. We're creating new one in here. Good. It works. Then what? Yeah, because this one is special char, right? It helps us to change with the other one. I mean, this with this point, and it will put there nothing. So we just like first putting here our remote char. It is P, and we're changing it with G, right? And so, sorry, not changing. We're putting G there, and we're just replacing with the double quotation, empty place. So, when you try to run that in here, it will give you, where is that, remote char, we can use, yeah, this is not remote char, this is first ladder, we will use this one. I did you see that? It works. So, I hope you understand, this is our first ladder, and we just making reach acts with this one, 
uh, which is regular expressions with the G. And after that, we sang all these guys. We want to um, we want to replace with the double quotation. I mean, this one. What if we try directly this way? What will happen? What do you think? Let's say first letter like that. Let's see what will happen. It works. Did you see that? You don't need to write also these things. Just we want to change first letter with the empty, empty place. We can change any of things. We can even put here helfen. This one. Sorry. Yeah. We can just remove all the, this one. This one there. Did you see that? We don't need to use sometimes this. Mm, what are you gonna say? I mean, slice method. It, it's the also way that we can do things. All right. I hope you get it. We did. This is the correct answer here. So each rectangle represents a step in a sequence, and the rows arrows flow uh, from one step to the next. This next flowchart is for the import algorithm and uses a diamond to represent the selection phase. Okay, what we have, we have again Halfen in here, Halfen, and after that we again putting their first ladder, and we just saying if first ladder is equals equals vowel, in this case we can put a, i, o, something like that, and we can say if it is true, do some instructions like append the i, we can use concat, and we can just end program. So if not, I mean else. And in this case, we can put first letter and after that append I. So we can add this one and remove first letter, right? So we can use replace method again there. Okay, this is picture. Now we can add it into programming. Let's do it together. Go there back. Look, everything is ready in here. We have first letter, we have half. We already did everything correctly. Nothing wrong in here. All right. So let's go back to the there. What we need more. Now we can open something else. But before that, we can say mm, do one. Let's say var do one. Mm -hmm. And this is empty. You can say var do two. And another empty. We can use for the if and else conditions this uh, undefined variables that we can change it later. Null, I mean, just there will be nothing that we can change in the program. We can just say if, yeah, fl first letter equals to a or fl equals to i let's say like that or fl equals to you can put many more of it okay i'm just showing you example do something else do what we can say do one dot what all right let's get started with the steps app and di so how we do that we can just come here we can say var um let's say x my x one okay and we can put here what yi like that and we can say do one dot concat yes do one concat with what What do you think about here? Do you think we did something true or it is wrong? Okay, we will add into the do one, uh, do one, but where is the first letter then? What do you think? So this is something crucial that we can continue with, you know? So app and di, but app and di where? where? 
to the first letter, right? Then what we're going to do, and we say first letter, like first letter dot uncut my x one. Yeah. And then what? And then we can do something like that, right? Do one like that. Hmm? So what will happen in this case? So when you say console.log do one, what will happen when you run that? Nothing? Oh my god, why? Why nothing? So just a question for you, why it doesn't work? Do you have any idea about it? It was undefined in here and after that we put some value there. Why it doesn't work? Because it is not A, it is not I, it is not E. Let's make it A. What will happen? Aye, aye. <laughs> yeah, it add there. Yeah. But where is our helfen? <laughs> Why there is not helfen there? Uh huh. So we need something more then. So can we say helfen dot something else? Hmm, what do you think? Can we use in here? Let's say X is Y and I just want to make it in, for example, in here, let's say helfen dot concat with what? First letter, right? Okay. What if we run that? still same where is it because we don't have any variable let's say for all my let's say all my mm -hmm. what will happen now so and after that can we use all my in here mm -hmm. what do you think or do you think we need to use here do one So just think about it, okay? It is so important. We have do one and we already concatenating with this one, but now we have another variable that we already concatenated. Help and concat, and after that we want to concat with this one. All right, then can we say all my will be in here and do one will display the out other one. Aha, uh -huh. AI. It works, right? Good. We have this one, and we have A, and we have Yai. Maybe we're doing something longer, isn't it? This is algorithm, yeah. Someone can make it in easier way. Someone can write many more quotes. What do you think about it? Just think about it. Let's say it is P like that nothing there okay let's continue to write now by the way let's put e i in here and see what will happen AI. okay everything grew good so now let's say i want to write else part okay let's come down in here let's do second step with the another things how we do it by the way maybe we can take this guy out of this we can put in here mm -hmm. it will be same nothing will be changeable maybe just don't want to make it so mixer like we can use in here but if you use const or something else maybe sometime you can get some because um, they are scope uh, in the scope and you cannot use in everywhere okay okay now let's look for the second step append first ladder okay we already have first ladder if false append first ladder 
okay our first letter will be something else let's say p in this case all right and then do what append i so guys now we're gonna do something in different way now we have var my x two, and this is i yes now it wants from us to do something different so we already use do one in here let's say we can use do two in here and we can say all my that we already represent up all my then what concat with my x two right this one and this one now my x two and after that just console.log this one like it there yeah, but do you think something wrong in here? Yeah, we have remove first ladder in this case. How we can do it? Replace method, right? Okay, come here and just say do to, right? By the way, we just remove something there. Okay, we can say do to, and what? Replace. First ladder, the index of first ladder is what? 0, 1, right? 1. So we are looking P in this case, or even it can be different, right? So what can be the, the index of this? Can we use index in the replace? How we do that? For example, let's say it is P or it is G or something different. How we do that? In this case, we say P. Go there back in here. So what we did, we represented something and we used. Let's say, what if ladders more than P? What can you do? Mm -hmm. Pattern remote char p p p p no we are not talking about p p p let's say let's say we have more letters i don't remember vowel is the thing that we're using vowel but what about the other one mm. Let me check in the other language. Consonant, yeah, this one. <coughs> Sorry. Consonant letters. What we do in this case? Aha, uh -huh. we're just representing them in this way, right? Okay, let's say that we have something like that, right? But, as you see, we did something different in here. Okay, I will do that, but let's come here back. If something this, it will make it directly i. But if it is not that, then why are we doing it in this way? Removing the first ladder. Okay, no thank you much. Come here and just put it there. Yes, like that. I think this is a little small place that I can make bigger. Okay. So now we have this guys, isn't it? Do it like that and replace consonants to remove with re replace with this one. And it will be due to. If you run that, it will be Hi. what if you put different there if you say this one it will make it like i i like that right if you put g it will make 
it will add their a g a so the second point will work right what if you add f it will be fa not fi a fa yes but what if you add e what will happen ea did you see that it works but why we put here that one it is so stupidly right because if if they are not that it will put the word there so let's delete this one and do not replace anything but as you see we want to remove first ladder but did it work or not let's run it ea all right and in this case i want to make it p and it has to be only a why it's still there p is still there why it doesn't change so do you think it's something wrong in here why it's still there look again so why still it works there what do you think look here something works good all right let's come back to the here we change the pattern with this one uh-huh but why it doesn't work in here for the else condition what do you think about it let's look else conditions in here why it doesn't remove the first ladder or maybe we need to say first ladder why not hmm? what do you think if you put any first ladder there it will just replace with the empty let's try it's the same why well, it doesn't work first ladder is already first ladder but why it doesn't work something wrong in here okay remove this guy run that still pay what's remote in here why this piece still there guys why this is not empty after we apply all this guy please think about it what is wrong in here that it gives us all the time same result let's say this is g okay tag all of them and go in here and put what was the wrong in here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's say why first ladder not remove it look what it will say mm -hmm. okay so uh -huh. we, we again cross out with that one right gee we again use this one okay ask about it what it is let's say what it means right i'm not saying something more uh-huh uh -huh. it, it says if you do that it works okay we did same thing right what was the wrong in here that it doesn't work put it here and run that uh-huh it works we did same thing why it is something different l in here yeah do replace yeah 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 everything same and same all right maybe we put something little in here no i think same right what was here different nothing okay it works it makes it have an a 
and when you put here p it will be again remove it and if you put here even p it will make ei in this case we are not removing it's just taking out this one i hope you understand we can use just use replace and we can put f a linear first letter and we can remove it with the double quotation like we can represent that put there nothing and yeah this is algorithmic way that we can put our images into code okay this is some way finally this flow chart visualizes the complete algorithm with iteration okay it was the selection it was the selection that we used if and as conditionals as you see it is selection right when there are conditions like if else uh, switch case something like that it always using selection algorithm but when you have <clears throat> sorry that okay yes when you have uh, loops in your program it uh, loops even uh, uh, even conditions and even normal regular rate for the codes then it would be uh, what it would be uh, iteration algorithms right okay in here what it's saying start store words all right in this case we have a list in here store words mean we have a list start with what store words okay let's say var or even just use let my list and say mm, put there some words let's say apple orange banana let's say cherry something like that okay then say melon or watermelon or whatever else okay now the second step for word in words in JavaScript we can use for word of my list why we set off when you say off it will iterate it will execute the apple orange banana and cherry with the names uh, with the list uh, things names but when you use in it will give you a number like one two three like zero index first index second index and blah 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 but when you use off it will iterate it will execute directly the names of the objects okay i will teach you later about it so you can watch my another videos about it okay forward of my list and let's try something here console.log let's say word did you see that it just gives us name of the things but even if you say in what will happen numbers so this is another crucial details so when you use javascript just be aware of it okay use off if you want to output that one or even you can use um like that for i equals zero to iterate with the numbers and the things together i less than my list dot length after that you can say i plus plus you can come in it yes in here and you can do in the steps things how we can do that you can say console.log and you can just say i and the right side can be my list then i so when you do that the numbers will be left side and the objects things will be right side as you see like that okay the clear way that as i show you in here for off 
for word of my list or for word in my list that we can use two things anyway in words then word come here start append halfen okay let's get started first we can say word let's say first step <clears throat> let first step And we can just say word concat with half like that, right? Let's run it and see if it works. Try. Can you do that? Try. Nothing there because we didn't write console.log. <laughs> yeah, just put fs error consult like there not that yeah we already added health and next to the objects right okay and the second way store first letter okay we can store it let's say first letter or let first letter we can put first letter in here let's say p okay all right we come again in same point are oh, you remember now we're gonna work in the for loop we can say if if what first letter then we can say fl equals what vowel that we can use again a or right Sorry, not all. <laughs> FL equals A, E, sorry, and FL equals mm, I. By the way, I remember that something I did before with the tuple method, like, like that, but not sure about it so like like that maybe I can try it I believe that we have some functionality like that with list okay then we come in here again we're doing same stuff app and bi okay we can say my x let's say let my x mm -hmm. we have here yi right in here okay then if it is not bad do another thing okay we will do another thing you can say um console.log not console.log we can say new one like that let's say more or let's use that again new one I need to I will do something like that um, or instruction one like that and we can just say fl dot uncut with my x right that's the way okay but do you think we did something wrong it should we apply for the word or only that what do you think? Let's try something, see the result after all. Okay, so we can just say console.log and ins1, I mean, instruction1. All right, remove this one and come back to the here. Now let's look for the else site, what we have. Append first letter, okay, append i. Okay, it's saying that append first ladder. We have already append first ladder there. So then we have append i. So first ladder, we can say um, my x again. Let my x t right, and we can say first. Mm, sorry, not first I like that. 
and we can come down and we can apply let ins to like that f l first letter concat with i so my x to and the same operation in here no worry and we come down and we just say remove first letter so how we do that are oh, you remember let's say lat or not lat let me do it in direct in console so let's let's say let's say come like that and let's say let in a which means that we want to um do instruction to in here to display out the conk site will be the concatenation with the first letter plus the my extension to now we can say first letter or conk dot replace first letter with empty quotation so with nothing all right that's the old code do you think it works or not it was and if it is true it will directly come from here to here sorry from here to directly down if not it will call it will go from here and will come all the end of the part and will go back to the here and all the way will return four times for the each of the words if it is true directly it will come here run that and see nothing okay because x conditions works and uh, we don't have anything for about console there let's say instruction to i i i i i what happened where is banana where is cherry where is melon <laughs> where is the thing do you think it is fl or word what do you think just think about it so do you think we need to do something different in here for example like that word dot concat concat with first letter yeah and let's say let conk to and let's say conk dot concat with my x to what will happen by the way in here it will be conk to in this case and aha uh -huh. apple a orange a banana a cherry a yeah it works but where is the this one <laughs> Alfred. Oh, it's not there. Did you think about it? Maybe we did not add. So in here we have first step. Maybe we need to add also this one, right? After some way. What do you think? Between these two guys, right? Kong and this one. Okay. But if you say concat with this one, aha, uh -huh, everything works. What if we try with A? A things again here. What happened? Where is the apple? Where is the orange? Where is the other things? No, they're right because same things we need to do in here too so we not say first letter we say <clears throat> between here we use different way to do it we can say word because we already did with the for loop right Word. then we can say concat with the first letter and concat with the my extension uh-huh we fix it what is the next step can we say 
something between them fell first ladder all right what about this one come here first ladder say this one mm -hmm. but why we have two times apple <laughs> Okay, this one is our things, but we use here two times, right? We already concatenated with, or it doesn't work. For the else conditions, everything okay, but for the this side, doesn't work. So should we do same thing as we see above, so below, here? So let's take this, guys. Yeah, is already there. Mm hmm Come here. Let's do something like that and see what will happen. Uh-huh, my X2. Okay, it will be my X1. Sorry, my X directly. Nothing change. Okay, put console.log also in here. And do it in Swan. Okay, like that, and say ins one. Okay, two like that. We can use it. Okay, let's run it. Yeah, but where is the A in here? It comes in here. <laughs> so, verb that conquered first ladder. Okay, first ladder is what? Or it removes because we use replace in here we don't need to use replace because we not want to remove things and so one is not there yeah you're right then let's try conk conk t all right but still our a is there why that it's just there we just want to see apple Half and yai. We don't want to see F first ladder there. Then remove. Remove this one. We don't need. All right. It works. Amazing. Perfect full. Yai. We added yai. Right? Now let's do P. Let's check the program if everything correct. Uh-huh. Everything works. Did you see that? When we do with the consonant, the result like that. And when we do with the vowel, like I, for example, it works like that. So that's it. All right. I hope you get it. With this codes, you can do the things. Even you can make not longer, shorter way too. I just showing you to just give your mind. I mean, how it works. Okay. Expressing an algorithm in a flowchart allows to visualize the algorithm at a higher level that we fix it. A high level plus it forces us to think as to th us to think very carefully about sequencing and selection. I hope you understand sequencing and selection and iteration algorithms way. Uh, just you need to know um, uh, selection is uh, for the conditional. Iteration is for the loops and sequential for the directly words that you're reading in the steps. Just know about it, okay? Which are our guests today? What's called? What not? Are there missing rows? No, those are the kinds of variable uh, questions that can come up uh, while translating an algorithm into a flowchart. Pseudocode. Okay, ultimately, most algorithms become code that actually runs a computer before that happens. Programmers often like to express an algorithm in pseudo code. Yeah, this is humanity way, like that we're doing things to ourselves. Code that uses all the constructs of the programming language but does not actually run anywhere. Yeah, you cannot run in the JavaScript or Python editor. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Pig Latin is there again. Yes, we did the same thing as you see. This is the uh, something in the pseudo code. This codes, okay? You cannot run into the programming languages. It's just something that you can 
think about it. You can write things like that. Uh, you'll see mostly into universities that uh, professors using the system to give students this idea, like how you can write first your things and after that, how you can um, transfer it into the programming language. Every programmer writes pseudocode differently. So yeah, it's the way. Since there is no official standard, so you may run into pseudocode that looks very different. Definitely. I can write like an Arabic way. <laughs> so expressing an algorithm in pseudocode helps a programmer think in a familiar, um, familiar terms without worrying about syntax and specifics. It's also gives computer scientists a language independent way to express an algorithm so that programmers for any language can can come along, read the Pseudo code. Oh my God, I'm reading poetry. Okay. Programming languages. Yes, we have here something. Would you like to do it? Okay, this is the mission for you, okay? You can apply same stuff as we did in here just there will be different boolean functions this is some task for you i, I already show in the image that how we do things this is pseudo code way that you can think i mean this is not pseudo code but you can think like that function is vowel that we have a function and name of the function is the vowel is vowel it's checking if it is vowel and char is the our word that we will put in it if it is vowel, vowels in the vowels list, that this one, this one, this one, or any of them, it will make it vowels dot index of, uh, then we will, it, it will check your word that you put, uh, it will check your letter that you put into a uh, function, and it will check if it is uh, bigger, it will make it to lower, and it will check with the minus one, it is something that null, I mean, wrong, like a false, Okay, if it is false, then it will make something else into the reminder part. And you will put their words, peanut butter and jelly and something that we did together. As you see here, we have words, it will display out indexes and it will add each time word uh, with the helfen that we did. As you remember, we added in here, right? In here we add it with that way concat you can use concat even for that or plus equals also will help you to do it by the way concat is the function that you can do it easy way you don't need to think a lot about it or you can even you can use operators i mean so then you're making char at zero index you can check it with that way too and you can make word plus equals y and else do this do this and slice just it's like a replace that we did and we remote and end of all of it so you, into the for loop you can say words i equals word which means it's saying that uh, i iterate each of the words with the index i mean name of that together after get results from their display out it will be ended by other by and yai lj the first one will change p will go b will go this one will change it is a because it is already vowel and j will change with the alley it will remove first one it will go this one will stay there and it will be end yay but as you see, we added the A in here, right? And in here, we add only A as we did in here. So yeah, guys, you can use also some different method for that. But we did in different way. I think our course is not much like that. Just we didn't put function, but just you can use function too. I mean, just write there something function my char and add their some character and do the same things so nothing uh, miracle i mean in here okay 
Where was it? Yeah. This is question. By the way, you can take picture of it to write this code and you can check whatever else you want. Okay. Sorry, by the way, come here back. This is the mission for you. And this is also homework for you. Programmer wants to present their idea and algorithm. By the way, this is normal question that you can fix. This is for you. All right, amazing one. Just you need to do something. Create a age if it is less than 30. You need to create an age like uh, with null or even with the input uh, prompt with the prompt you can just create creator age if creator age is 10 for example it will be true and it will come directly in here so it will go is hidden it will say true yeah is hidden also will be the your uh, variable you can put there your things i mean boolean if it is greater than 13 it will go here it will be admin level you will create another variable and you will say admin level is zero look this is the way this else conditions right it goes in here and it says admin level do things and if it is true admin levels is true go from here spam score is greater than 2.0 if it is true, come here and it will go again this way from here. If all of them false, so in this case, it will be else, sorry, this one will be else if, you can think like that. And last one will be else, it will directly come here with the false. And in here, if something false, it will check again this condition and it will go back to here and blah, blah, blah. So yeah this is the point that you can fix if creator edge is less than 13 it will be true and it's saying or or so one of them can be true in this case admin level is zero and yeah spam score greater than 2.0 yeah definitely we use here and because they comes at the next to next i mean yeah they must be true together it will be false no it will be true in is hidden in this case has to be true right in here so both of them with this one like that has to give true conditions in here less than this or one of them be true no this one also not way and will be like this and this one will be true isn't it this one true answer you can check it or even you can look for that too this is another option zero admin level zero and spawn score is greater than or equals to 2.0 is it in true as is it in false do you think this one true or the other one true what which one just think about it this one or this one check carefully what was the difference in this case? One of them saying and, the other one saying or. Let's check logic gates. It is not and, right? Or do you think it is and? No, because this one is directly going in here. And it's saying if it is false, like it is not true, you can't put and here because it has to be also true with all of them together if you use or one of them can be true to go to the final point but we have two doors in that case we use or yes the another one you will start with here you will say if n not equals one in this case if it is true if n is not equals one it will be true let's say n is zero uh-huh it will be true so n modulo you will use n let zero by percentage you will put there two and it will be zero and it will continue with that way you can just put variables with the operations and display n if it is false and is not equals 
one it's if it is equals to one it will directly end um, if n equals one it will continue like that if n is not equals one sorry yeah 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 if n is not equals one in this case if it is zero it will continue in that way if n is equals one so in this case it will be false and it will end if n is equal not equals one let's say zero but in here n modulo divided uh, percentage two uh, reminder is zero not zero in this case if it is not zero it's if false then you're making three times n plus one yeah this is some way that you can apply okay like this way go here this way come here go here or come directly in here and go there you can just fix this things then i can understand that you understand topic okay this is the questions for you yes guys thank you sir thank you very much for watching it i hope you understand everything correctly so it was our second part i will load it load it to soon into youtube that you can watch we already completed first step with you and you like this video as i saw in youtube you will get more reaction we will continue with the evaluating algorithms this one is second okay we will continue soon with this thank you see you in another class building algorithms topic already done with this way let's continue with the evaluating algorithms okay thank you so much for the watching see you there my friend